soil erosion and conservation soil formation is a natural process operating at very slow pace it takes very long at times 100 to 1000 years to develop few centimeters thick soil of course this period depends on the rate of number of factors and varies from region to region soil erosion is a partial or total removal of top layer of soil from the land it is the top layer of the soil that contains the organic matter and nutrients and promotes the growth of vegetation its removal renders the soil unproductive soil erosion is a natural process and hence cannot be completely stopped at the best one can think of reducing the rates of erosion conservation measures are aimed at reducing the soil erosion rate in maharashtra Though the problem of soil erosion is felt almost in all the parts, it is quite severe in certain areas. In the Western Ghats region, with heavy rainfall and steep slopes, the offshoots of the Ghats extending in both direction and the flood plain areas of Tapi with recent alluvium are some of the areas where this problem is quite serious. Deforestation, overgrazing, ploughing in the direction of slope are some of the factors that aggravate the problem of soil erosion. Conservation efforts include afforestation of barren land, plugging of gullies, covering the sloping land with continuous contour trenches, diverting the overflows and reducing the velocity of running water. Soil conservation measures are being undertaken by government departments as well as a number of non-government organizations NGOs, under watershed development programs in different parts of the state. Soil Degradation Decline in the fertility status of a soil is termed as soil degradation. This is an effect of excessive utilization of soils, over irrigation, excessive use of chemicals, fertilizers, etc. The rotating crops, keeping the land fallow for some period of time, use of organic manures and some of the measures suggested to counter the problem of soil degradation. In Maharashtra, problem of soil degradation is serious in the areas of irrigated farming. Due to over irrigation, salts in the soil situated at deeper depths get moved to the top layers and at times salt comes right to the surface. As a result, large tracts of irrigated lands become unusable for further cultivation. Alluvial Soils In the low-level areas of river basins and their flood plain, alluvial soils are found due to continuous deposition of the load. Due to availability of water, and fine texture, these soils become very fertile. In Maharashtra, these soils dominate the lower reaches of main rivers. In coastal tracts of Konkan, particularly near the mouth of various rivers, these soils are found. In North Maharashtra, the basins of Tapi and Purna are full of deep alluvial deposits. Large areas in this basin are covered by alluvial soils. As alluvial soils are fertile, various crops can be cultivated. Laterite Soils Laterite soil is found in the area where rainfall is more than 2000 mm and definite dry season. As a result of intensive leaching, silica and lime are washed away. 
As a result, proportion of iron oxide and aluminium compounds in the soil increases. This soil is deficient in nitrogen, phosphorus and organic matter. Fertility of these soil is quite low. This soil is found in Ratnagiri, Raigad, Sindhudurg, Kolhapur and Satara districts. This soil is used for paddy cultivation and horticulture in Konkan. Areas under forests Average annual rainfall in Maharashtra is 1000 ml. Area under forests depends on the distribution of rainfall. Ratnagiri, Sindhudurg, Raigad, Thane, Garchiroli, Chandrapur, Bhandara, Gondia districts of Maharashtra receive rainfall more than 1000 ml. On the eastern slopes of the western Ghats, particularly western parts of Nasik, Pune, Satara, Sangli, Kolhapur districts have significant areas under forests. Forest areas in central Maharashtra are very limited due to low rainfall. These areas are under drought prone zone. In the same areas, Land used for agriculture is more due to flat surface. For the environmental balance in any of the region, minimum areas under forest should be 33% of the total land. But in Maharashtra, area under forest is only 17%. Special efforts are taken by the government to increase the areas under forest like social forestry program. Forests and wildlife Forests are quite important biotic natural resource. Forests must have been the first natural resource that man must have used to satisfy his demand for food before they could develop an art for cultivating plants. Besides, they are used for humans in economic terms. Forests have greater ecological value. Forests provide habitat for a large number of life forms. As plants absorb carbon dioxide in the air, the forests are considered as sinks of CO2. In the present time of concern about the global climatic changes, forests are assumed as a new dimension. It is desired that a region should have one-third of the land under forest cover for maintaining the balance of environment. Types of forests in Maharashtra The following types of forests are found in Maharashtra. Number 1. Tropical semi-evergreen forests. Number 2. Tropical moist deciduous forests. Number 3. Tropical dry deciduous forests. Number 4. Tropical thorny forests. Number 5. Mangrove forests. Tropical semi evergreen forests. Tropical semi evergreen forests are found in the region which receive rainfall above 2000 mm and annual average temperature between 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. These are broad leafed and hardwood forest. Trees here grow as high as 60 to 65 meters. There are various species of trees like Kinjil, Sal, Sag, Kusum, Arjun, Hirda, Behda, etc. found. These forests are economically important. Woods are used for producing agricultural equipments and building houses. Leaves, flowers, fruits, roots and barks are used as herbal medicine. These forests are found in eastern part of Sindhudurg, Ratnagiri, Thane and western part of Kolhapur, Satara, Pune districts.
tropical moist deciduous forests tropical moist deciduous forests are found in the region where rainfall is between 1000 to 2000 mm and the average temperature is between 20 degrees to 30 degrees celsius these types of forests grow well in rainy season and shed their leaves in the beginning of the summer season they grow as tall as 30 to 40 meters a large varieties of species of trees like sal teak sandalwood paras kanchan arjun etc are found here these forests are found in bhandara gondia garchiroli chandrapur nasik pune kolhapur dure nandurbar districts of maharashtra tropical dry deciduous forests tropical dry deciduous forests are found in the region where the rainfall is between 500 and 1000 mm and the average temperature is between 35 to 40 degrees celsius trees are short and sparse they have thorns and shed their leaves in summer woods obtained from these forests are used as firewood tendo leaves are used for bd work bell palas anjan etc are found here jargao dhure burdhana amravati nagpur bhandara gondia and akola districts have this type of forest hot tropical thorny forests hot tropical thorny forests are found in the region which receives less than 500 mm rainfall here summer is very hot and dry these forests are generally found in the rain shadow region here the climate is very unfavorable for growth of the trees short and thorny brushes are found here bor babul nimb khair hirda cactus are the common plants found here babul and neem trees are used for making agricultural equipments and building houses bark of babul is used for making hide corpar aloe vera is a medicinal plant mangrove forests the forests in coastal areas particularly in intertidal zones and estuaries are known as mangroves trees here are evergreen and they grow in salty and marshy land plants like kandal tiwar are found in the forests conservation of forests conservation of forests is a multiple activity various plans have been implemented to save forests from destruction efforts have been made to maintain the forest wealth excessive exploitation of forest wealth is prohibited forest conservation plan includes proper management safety care of plants and extension of forest area forests are necessary to prevent soil erosion provide clean and healthy air maintain ecological balance retain the level of ground water table protect wild animals preserve forest products keep the tribal settlements and provide raw materials for forest based industries according to the national policy and scientific view 33% of geographical area of the state must be under forests since forest area in maharashtra is decreasing day by day conservation of forest has become necessary in the state existing forest area should not only be preserved but also be extended further 
Thousands of tree saplings are planted every year. Trees are planted on both sides of the roads. Encouragement is given to plants, trees, which help to preserve local biological diversity and climate. Planting trees on buns of fields and on fallow lands is encouraged. The state government has undertaken Santa Tukaram One Gram Yojana in 2006. Under this plan, forests and forest wealth are saved from illegal felling of trees and social awareness is created about importance of forests and wild animals. Increasing population and its needs will increase pressure on forest wealth in future. To reduce this pressure, we have to find an alternative to forest products. For example, we can use solar energy, natural gas, biogas instead of firewoods. Encouragement of social forestry, extension of forest and proper management can naturally reduce these problems. Wildlife Resources in Maharashtra Wildlife that comprises of all the living organisms in a region inhabiting their natural habitat are included in wildlife resources of the region. Wildlife in itself is a resource in both commercial as well as ecological consideration. In commercial sense, they attract tourists and in ecological sense, they help maintaining the forest ecosystem in a perfect environmental balance. Wildlife in an area is a cultural asset of the region. Though forest land in Maharashtra is limited and much less than the desired 33%, it has wide spectrum of wildlife. This is because the state has a variety of forests ranging from semi-evergreen scrubland vegetation. It is home to a large number of animals and bird species. Wild animals like tiger, leopards, crocodile, bison, elephants, nilgai, wild deers, etc. inhabit different forest lands in the state. The government has set up many parks and sanctuaries to protect these animals and promote tourism. Two major forest areas of Maharashtra, namely the Western Ghats and East Maharashtra, are particularly rich in wildlife. There are four tiger projects in the state, Melghat, Tadoba, Penj and Sayadri. Besides these tiger projects, there are number of other projects specially started for the protection of specific wild animals. Example, Dajipur in Kolapur district is particularly a reserve for bison. The giant squirrel called Shekru, option Shekaru in Marathi from Bhima Shankar forest in Pune district is the state animal of Maharashtra. Mineral Resources Economically important, earth minerals that are extracted from land are known as minerals. Basically, all rocks are mixture of different minerals. Hence, all the areas have some minerals, however, these are scattered in the rock. Concentration of a particular mineral in a rock makes it economically important. Minerals are classified as metallic and non-metallic. Both these form raw materials for different industries. Conservation of Mineral Resources Minerals are the non-renewable resources and hence these are exhaustible. These resources used as raw materials in different industries are considered as the backbone of economy of a region. Most of the traditional energy resources such as coal, mineral oil, etc. are in great demand due to ever-increasing population. 
its changing lifestyle and resulting energy requirements. Hence, it is necessary to use them in most judicious manner. Maharashtra is not having very large reserves for metallic or non-metallic minerals. Same is the case of energy resources. Yet, it is one of the leading industrial states. The demand of energy by industrial sector as well as agricultural sector is increasing. Under such situation, it is essential that the available mineral and energy resources are conserved. Minerals can be conserved by adopting the policy expressed in the consumer ethics of the four R's Rethink, Reduce, Recycle and Repair. Energy Resources Coal Coal is an important mineral. It is used as an energy resource in railway transportation. It is also used as a raw material in fertilizer and chemical industry. Thermal electricity is produced by using coal. Anthracite, bituminous, lignite and peat are different types of coal. Cordy, Paras, Turbe are the important thermal power stations. In Maharashtra, Chandrapur, Yavatmar and Nagpur districts have coal mines. Crude oil and natural gas. Crude oil is a compound of carbon and hydrogen. It is generally found in lime and sandstone. In Maharashtra, crude oil deposits have been discovered in the year 1973 at Mumbai High which is located in the northwestern part of the Arabian Sea near Mumbai. It is a major oil field in the country. Natural gas is also found here. It is used as domestic fuel and is also used in the thermal power station. It is also used for making artificial rubber. Iron ore Iron ore is an important mineral. It is used in construction of building, automobiles, furniture and electronic industries. Iron ore is the backbone of the industries. It is found in ore form. Hematite, magnetite, Limonite and Siderite are the different types of iron ore. Chandrapur, Garchiroli, Gondia, Nagpur in eastern part of Maharashtra and Sindhudurg in southern part of Maharashtra have iron ore deposits. Manganese Manganese is found in black-gray color. It is an important raw material used in the production of iron and steel and ferro-manganese alloy. Approximately 95% of manganese is used in iron and steel industry. 10 kilograms of manganese is used for the production of 1 ton steel. Manganese is also used in china clay and bleaching powder, photography, cotton textile, and matchbox industries. Maharashtra is a leading producer of manganese in India. Bhandara, Gondia, Nagpur, Chandrapur, Sindhudurg districts are producing manganese in Maharashtra. Bauxite Bauxite is used to produce aluminium. Aluminium is a rustless and light metal. It is a good conductor of heat and is cheaper than copper. Hence it is used in electric equipments. Aluminium is also used in manufacturing of household utensils, spare parts of automobiles, aircrafts, railway compartments, frames for doors and windows, etc. Aluminium is also used in chemical oil refineries, cement and iron and steel industries. Maharashtra 
is the leading bauxite producing state in India. Kolhapur, Sangli, Sindhudurg, Raigarh districts have bauxite deposits.